What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again hopping onto the rank double ladder for series 13, but this time using one of my favorite series 13 Pokemon, Genesec. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and ring those notification bells to stay up to date on all of my content. But like I said, we're using Genesect today and Genesect is one of the coolest Series 13 Pokemon just on design, in my opinion. I think Genesect and Marshadow are the two coolest ones. Keldeo is up there for me too, but this Pokemon just looks so sick. But the only problem with Genesect is it is not as strong as the other ones, but it's definitely fun to use. You guys know the deal with that using uh, Pokemon that you like. It's definitely more fun to use Pokemon that are better, but hopefully we get the rock out with Genesec, grab some wins, and showcase this team to its fullest potential. But let's get after it. Starting off in that top left corner with today's team preview, we have the one and only Eternatus over here with a pressure and a Black Sludge as its item. It's got Dynamax Cannon for Stab, Sludge Wave for Stab, and then Shrock and Protect and Recover to get more HP back. Second Pokemon on the team is going to be right next to him. It is going to be Zero Aura. This team has two mythical Pokemon, and Zero Aura is just a solid lead Pokemon considering it has Fake Out. This Pokemon has Volt Absorb and the Shuka Berry as an item, and then it's got Plasma Fist for Stab, Close Combat for Coverage, Fake Out like we already mentioned for Flinches, and Protect for its final move. Middle left is going to be Kyogre. Kyogre is still dominant in the rank battle, so gotta bring him on the team. He's got Drizzle and Mystic Water for rain control and uh, boost and water damage. Then he has Water Spout, Ice Beam, Origin Pulse, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be our Speed Control and Support Pokemon. It is going to be Tornadus with the Prankster and the Focus Sash. It has Icy Wind for Speed Control, Leer for Defensive Drops, Tailwind, and Protect. So I really do like this Pokemon because he can pair up with our physical attacker like uh, Thunderous, Leer some Pokemon, drop defense, and just have Thunderous take Speed Control with his Air Stream. So I kind of like that combo. Bottom left hand corner is going to be that Thunderous Defiant to actually uh, counter up on Intimidate Pokemon. We have that Assault Vest to make it more bulkier up against special attackers. Then it has its normal really strong move set of Wild Charge, Fly, Crunch, and Brick Break. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Genesect over here. It is a Bug and Seal type just like Scissor and I just think its design is absolutely amazing. It's got Download as its ability and then we gave it the Life Orb as its item to boost all the round damage. It's got Bug Buzz for Stab. Flash Cannon for Stab, Flamethrower for Coverage, and last but not least, it has Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to rent this code for yourself, the method code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Series 13 Genesect team. First battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool casual team. Like, check it out. He's got Draco Fish, also Galade Dragonite, Blastoise, Quagsire, and Barrascooter. So three water Pokemon. Um, I feel like Zero Aura is going to be solid here. I could also bring Genesect and maybe just lead him in Dynamax with the Zero Aura. Wouldn't be bad. I kind of want to check out this Pokemon stats. 189 special attack. It is shiny, so it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, look at that Pokemon. And then I just think it thrives here. Look at that. Its speed's not bad. Its special attack is fully boosted. It is boosted in a little bit of HP, too. So I think Genesect and Zero Aura can get us rolling. I really do like that spot in battle number one. And then in the back end, we could bring Eternatus. It's just a solid back end Pokemon. And then last but not least, we bring Thunderous. We bring Thunderous, or we can bring Kyogre, but I just feel like Kyogre is not going to fare too well because he has the Draco Fish, he has the Quagsire, he has the other two water types, and Dragonite. It really only does work up against Glade, so I am going to bring Thunderous. I'm going to rock out the battle from there. So let's lock it in, let's lock it down, let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But yo, guys, it's now, by the time I'm recording this, it is, what is it, Tuesday? Is today Tuesday? Yeah, it, today is Tuesday, and we are three days out of the release of Splatoon 3. I cannot wait for that. If you guys want to catch me live, Doing Splatoon 3 content and Series 13 Pokemon content. Make sure you head down the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. Name is right below the face cam. Definitely go check it out. The content is amazing over there. And I love chatting it up with you guys. So, and if you guys do play Splatoon 3, or if you guys are planning on it, definitely hop in the stream because I'm going to be doing viewer battles. Like I'm going to be teaming up with viewers, and we're going to be hopping on that rank ladder and pushing ranks. But he's going to end up leading these two. I think I just Dynamax, uh... I think I just Dynamax Genesect here. And fake out the Quagsire. Because actually I could just not even Dynamax. I mean I I mean I, I don't even have to fake out to be honest. Let's just do this. Let's just bug buzz into the uh the Quagsire, get the special attack drop across the board and trip plasma fist into blastoids. I don't think we need to fake out. There's no need for the fake out. We're gonna get right after battle number one. Dynamax in the boy Genesec. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. But yeah, you don't really get to see max flutter by too much. I feel like that is the most underused uh max move. Right, max flutter by, but it is so good because it drops special attack. So it's basically max worm win, but for special attack. But you don't get to see it too much because the bug typing itself is just not as strong as the other typings. 
But I think he ends up Dynamax and Blastoids here. I mean, that's fine by me considering we're going to hit it with a Plasma Fist. And on top of that, we're going to make it minus one. So, I do think it's going to happen. Yep, it's going to be a G-Max Blastoids. I'm totally cool with that. Max Flutterby is going to do absolute work onto the Spike Sire. It's going to drop Special Attack. And then Plasma Fist is going to come out and do some big time damage to the Blastoids. So, I'm really liking this turn one. Thank God we didn't go for the Fake Out. The Plasma Fist comes to rear. Look at that damage. Yo. Big time damage coming out here. My boys should go next. Yep. Look at this. Genesec getting after it. It is Life Orb, and like I said, special attack is pretty high. Look at that. Look at that. Genesec getting after it. He's getting after it. Yo, I've been loving my new uh, base camp position. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy it. It's just a little change of pace, and I just think it looks a lot better for the streams. Well, not streams, for the videos. He's going to end up dropping a G-Max Candy That might go into my Zero Aura. Back on in Zero Aura, it is. And Zero Aura, can you eat this? The After Effect, the Vortex damage. 32. I think I should. But I wouldn't be surprised if it kills me. I do. 28 damage. God dang. So much damage for no reason. We're sitting really pretty here now. We're sitting really pretty. Who's going to bring out? Hopefully someone Genesec could just rip into. Who's it going to be? But yeah, if it wasn't for that special attack drop, Zero Aura would have died there. Definitely would have died. He's going to bring out Glade. And um, I think, yeah, I could just take out Glade easily here. With a uh, like a Steel Spike or Flutter by. I think Steel Spike would be better. Drop that thing's defense. We're gonna hope that this thing's not rocking like Mach Punch or something. Because there or should be able to outspeed him. Take out the Blastoids and the Steel Spike probably should be able to take out the Glade too. So we could potentially see a sweep here in Battle of the World. That'd be beautiful. Nice Max Guard. Beautiful Max Guard, but it would do nothing if this uh if this Genesec outspeeds and takes out Glade. So let's see. We do outspeed. Do we take out Glade? Could be the play. Could be the play. We do. That's GG's. That is GG's. We're going to sweep. I think we're going to sweep. A boy's plus one on defense now. Zero Aura outspeeds everything on the field, I'm pretty sure. I, unless he has Bear Scooter, but Bear Scooter's not that fast without Rain. Oh, but Vortex damage takes him out. No, we don't get... I do. I always forget about the Vortex damage, the Final Ash damage, and the Wildfire damage. I always forget about them all the time. But down goes my Zero Aura. That's why I guard it. And I can just go into Eternatus here. Who's faster? I think Eternatus is faster than Thunders, right? 155. Oh, no. 171. Might as well go into Thunders, then. Might as well go into Thunders. Drop a nice little Wild Charge. Wild Charge will finish off the Blastoids. And then I can just rip into his last Pokemon, which is going to be, I think, Barashkuda. Yep, it's Barashkuda. It's low on defense. It's not that strong with Pokemon. We can just kill with a Flutterby. You know, solid, easy first battle. Genesec is just thriving out here. We get the Dynamax in here in battle number one. And more importantly, we, we grab ourselves a victory. But uh, is he going to cancel? No, he stays in here. So Wild Charge says, see you later, Blastoids. My Pokemon just overwhelmed him on speed. And then this Flutterby, again, should just take him out one shot. Genesect is just thriving here. His special attack is so high. And give it to the Life Orb on top of that. Oh, but Barrow Scooter does outspeed him. It's a little wild. Which is a little crazy. A little crazy, but here comes the Flutterby. Genesect with... Three max turns and three KOs. He's just thriving out here, dude. I'm telling you, his special attack's too high with that life orb. Second battle coming at you guys, and that first battle was rather easy. So hopefully this next battle could be a little bit closer. It seems like it is going to be. He has three restricted Pokemon, alongside with one mythical Pokemon, and then he has Faramosa and Wimscott. Really strong team all around. I feel like we have to take speed with Tornadus. And I might just go Tornados and Thunders. I feel like that is just a solid lead all around. We have that Assault Vest on him as well. So I can go bang, bang. Bring Genesect in the back end. Also, have a Kyogre. I do like Kyogre here. I really do like Kyogre. So I am going to bring Kyogre. I could bring Zero Aura. Or I can roll back into Genesect. And I'm kind of leaning towards Genesect. Because, you know, we're trying to showcase Genesect in today's video. So I might as well put him on the squad. But I really do like this lead that we're going into. The Tornados. The Thunder is really, really good. I can Leer Pokemon. I can take Speed Control with Tailwind. I can Dynamax Thunders. I can go into the Airstreams. I just have a lot of different options. Plus, if he wants to go into Groudon, we pose a threat with the Electric Move. And same thing with that uh, Calyrex. We have that Assault Fest to kind of soak it up. And we pose a threat. So, I'm really digging him. He's going to Whimscott and Calyrex. I'm... Definitely cool with that. Do I set up a Tailwind? I mean, he already has speed. So... Do I set up the Tailwind? I feel like we don't have to. I really feel like we don't have to. I might just go into an Icy one here. Just to take off any types of Sashes and then go into an Airstream and do some speed that way. I think that would be our best bet, right? Icy Wind. Take off the Sash. I could go into the Darkness, but I'd rather get more value out of this. So I am just going to go into the slot. I just don't think Tailwind's needed. 
I really don't think Tailwind is needed here because again, he's gonna go for Tailwind. He's gonna go for Astro Barrage. I can trigger Focus Ash with my Tornadus. My uh, Thunders can eat it up due to the Soul Fest, and then we can kind of just get rolling from there. If I can take out this Kylox and then take speed, I think that could be a really big turn. As long as he's not taunting me. As long as you're not taunting me. I wouldn't mind if you taunted me either, because we are going for Icy Wind. So let's see what he does. He is just going to go for Tailwind. So we read this turn all day. Wasn't that hard to read. I think this is going to be decent for us. He's going to drop the Astro Brash, and it's going to be pretty good for us. Yeah, Focus Ash triggers, and my boy soaks up pretty well. So again, I really like that turn. I don't mind it one bit. And that thing was Orb this whole time. I think it was Orb this whole time. So this isn't that bad of a turn. We don't even KO. We don't even... Wow, that hurts. We don't even KO. Don't even KO with that. That actually hurts really bad. But Icy Wind's going to fly, and I wonder if Tornadus can outspeed that Calyrex with the Tailwind. No, it cannot. Can that KO? It does not KO eat. Oh, that hurts. I have to set up the Tailwind. I have to set up the Tailwind to outspeed, and do I... What do I do here? I have to set up the Tailwind to outspeed. I think I just airstream and take out the wind scout, right? I think I have to. That's tough. That's tough. I could go into. I'm, I'm gonna have to go into the airstream again. I might protect Calyrex. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see how this one plays. But yeah, we we did not take out that first the soul. I should have went to the darkness. But yeah, if we don't set up the cell and we don't outspeed, and he sets up a light screen. That's a beautiful play by him. So light screen's gonna come out here. Um, I have two special attacks in the back, which kind of hurts, but we get rid of the wind scout now. And we'll roll out from there. That's not too bad. I mean, I can bring out Kyogre, and Kyogre should be able to outspeed this Calyrex. Right? Calyrex is minus one. That's not too bad. He's going to pick up the kill here. He's going to get rolling. Or do I bring out Genesect? Genesect isn't too bad at this point. So Astro Barrage comes out here. That's the kill. Thunder survives again, and speed is on our side. Um, I could airstream next Pokemon just to make sure Kyogre outspeeds. Is that what I did? Do I bring out Kyogre? Oh, okay. This thing just goes down uh, like that. Hey, that ain't bad. That ain't too bad. Okay, I'm cool with that. That's, that's fine. That's fine. But do I bring out Kyogre or do I bring out Genesect? I feel like I bring out Genesect here. Like, who could he have in the back end? I'm trying to think. He's going to definitely Dynamax a Pokemon. Uh, Kyogre could come in here nicely. I think Kyogre would. I think we're going to get more value out of Kyogre, especially with his speed boost. So I am going to go Kyogre here. I'm going to go Solgaleo, who he is going to Dynamax. That is definitely his Dynamax Pokemon. And then he's going to go into who? Who is his final Pokemon? Solgaleo and Pheromos. So he can coach up. He can do a decent amount here. He can do a decent amount. Pheromos could have the Focus Ash. There's, that's three Pokemon that could have the Focus Ash, which is wild. But we know this thing is definitely Rocket League's policy. So I'm going to Water Spout here. And I think I just Airstream and make sure that this Pheromos is. Right? Probably my best bet. Probably my best bet because we know Solgaleo is Dynamax. So this battle, gonna be a quick battle, but it's coming down to the wire. That's what Sword and Shield is all about. Sword and Shield is just quick battles. Everything is fast-paced, big damage at all times. But, yeah, he Dynamaxes the Lion. The lovely little Lion. It's such a cool Pokemon. I just love his design, and I love how it has that, like, galaxy space thing in its face. It just looks incredible. So let's see what happens here. We got, we're gonna be able to Airstream here. Hopefully, Kyogre can outspeed the Pheromos at this point with a plus one. And this Pokemon had the Focus Ash the whole time. That's wild. That is wild. So we end up doing that. Hopefully Kyra can outspeed now just so Pheromosa can't really do anything. But we'll see. It does. That's beautiful. So Pheromosa can't do anything. So yeah, yeah, is going to take a nice chunk of damage with that. And I wonder who he's going to go after. We don't want to proc the policy just yet. We can go for a lightning. And can't, you might be able to eat that up, Kyogre. You don't. You don't. You die. You die. That hurts soul. Okay, so he dies there. We have our Genesect. Who Genesect should be faster than. Actually, I don't really know Genesect speed. Let me see it. But I know my Thunderous is faster. I mean, I could proc weak this policy. Could definitely proc weak this policy. But are you faster? Are you faster, kind sir? Ooh, you might not be faster. You might not be faster. But he did set up the electric turning for us, which is not too bad. It's not too bad. So we're going to go into the, the bug. Hopefully, we can get some clutch up here. But it comes down to a 2v1. 2v1. We get a special attack boost, which is gorgeous. So special attack boosted on our side. He might go after him at this point. He might go after him at this point. Hmm. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? I have flamethrower. I have bug buzz. Good lower special defense. Gotta go into the bug buzz. And on top of that, do I crunch? Or do I just straight up wild charge? I think I just wild charge. We have the electric train. I really don't want to proc the policy. That's my problem. I don't want to proc the policy. Wild charge can come out here. 
chipping off damage, but nothing really. That's pretty much GG's, right? Unless we get a special defense drop, and this thing keeps my Genesect in the battle. No special defense drop. Max Lightning comes out here, and he's going to take out my boy. Hurts us all. Oh, you eat. That's actually huge. That is huge, and his Tailwind's gone. We have a shot here to win this game. I go here and into a crunch. Would a crunch do more damage? I think so, yo. Let's do it. Let's do it. Can this win me the game? Can this win me the game? Crunch comes out here. I think Bug Buzz can finish this off. Yo, Genesec, you clutching up? Are you clutching up? It was a great call for us not to proc the policy just yet. Genesec, clutch this one up. Bug Buzz comes out here. Let's go. Let's go. So Genesec soaks up the shot. The download comes in there for that special attack boost. And everything works out perfectly. So what a beautiful second battle. Came down to the wire. Your boy Genesec clutches it up. And we end up going 2-0 to get this video started. It's perfect record time. And we're going up against a really cool off meta team right here. He still has his Ashen, still has the Shadow Rider Calyx, but then he's rocking AG Slash, Shed Ninja, Kangaskhan, and Inteleon. Really cool team. Hopefully grab ourselves this perfect record and get after today's video. But um, who should I go into and how should I lead this? I kind of want to bring Genesect again. Genesect has been clutching up in both battles. He dominated in battle number one with the Dynamax, and in battle number two, clutched up by soaking up that uh, Steel Spike and hitting hard with the Bug Buzz onto the Solgaleo. But um, hmm, what do I want to do here? I could go Zero Aura, but he might lead the uh, Shadow Rider. Shadow Rider's a little scary, I'm not going to lie, but I feel like I could just take Speed Control, right? Tornadus, Kai Ogre. Could be the easy, could be the, the fun combo, but we're going to go Tornadus and uh, Tornadus and Genesect here. We'll bring Kai Ogre in the back end, and then either Eternatus or Thunderous. Eternatus or Thunderous. I'm kind of leaning towards Thunderous here just because we could Dynamax him, right? I mean, we definitely need a moves that are going to be super effective onto that... Uh, on that Shed Ninja too, so Thunderous kind of just takes the cake with that too. So I like that. I definitely dig it a lot. But I wonder who he's gonna lead. He has a Zassian and Calyx, so you know he can win this battle at any time. Zassian, Shadow Rider, Calyx, definitely two of the top Pokemon in the uh, meta right now, and they can legit sweep out teams instantly. But yo, one way to counter that Zassian is going to be Mew. I used Mew in my last video. If you haven't checked him out, we transformed into Zassian and just got ripping. But of course, this guy leads his two strongest Pokemon. He's going to get after it this way. I could actually just straight up flare. I could flare this Zacian. Can we get a special uh, attack boost on our download? Send flare would be amazing. It would be beautiful. It would be amazing. Give me that download special attack boost. Show me special attack. Let's go. Okay, so special attack boost. I think this is just like an easy tailwind into flamethrower, right? Or max flare, I should say. You are plus one, and I feel like the plus one max player should be able to take out. It just seems like it's the best bet, right? It seems like it's the best. So we're going to rock in that. That is what I am doing. Good old Dynamax in here. Genesec back after battle number three. But Kylorax is still definitely a problem. But I mean, after this, we could probably just like... We could probably just go into like a Bug Buzz, or not Bug Buzz, Max Flutterby alongside with Icy Wind. Take off Sash and to do damage. But yeah, we got speed right here right now, and Zassian is not going to protect, so I'm, I'm liking this turn already, because I think this should be able to KO with that plus one special attack. Player coming in hot, take it out, tell him to go home. Zassian's no match for Genesect. Beautiful. What a start. What a huge start. Huge, huge start. So, if I had to guess, you know, Shadow Rider Calyx is probably going for that uh, Astral Barrage. Astral Barrage will bring down my Tornados to Focus Ash. And then Genesect, it's going to take a decent amount of damage to this, right? Yeah, but he soaks up. I know that does not sash me. It does not sash me. The sash does not come out here. We're thriving strong. Yo, Genesect low-key nice. Low-key nice with it. I think in the beginning of the video, I was like, it's definitely not the best. But it's a lot of fun to use. But he's low-key nice with it. He's definitely low-key nice with it. But yeah, uh, what's called has got to go. So I'm just going to ice him in here. Slow down everybody. And do I steal spike for defense boost? I think we would get more value out of that. So I am going to go into Steel Spike for defense boost only because Kangaskhan is a physical attacker and he fakes me out. Fakes me out and I die. It does more than 19 damage. It hurts the soul. Because it is stabbed with him. He does get a little bit of a boost. But defense boost is going to come out here. Genesec should be able to circle whatever his Calyx has to offer. And this thing's not even sashed. He's not even sashed. That's the best, yo. When you attack Calyx and it's not even sashed. It's just amazing. But I wonder what item it was. It wasn't orbed. It, was, it wasn't Sash. No confusion, but I can pretty much just say GG. Easy set of battles for me. Easy set of battles for that. We're going to roll in the Kyogre with Tailwind. That wraps up this battle. Who's he going to Dynamax? Oh, we have Shin Ninja. Oh, no. 
Oh no, <laughs> we don't want to deal with that. We'll probably Dynamax the Kangaskhan. Hey, look at the little Kangaskhan inside of the little pouch. It's adorable. I think it's adorable. But yeah, I gotta go into, I guess, like a water spout. And I guess I'll flare, right? I, I guess I'll flare. Like, <laughs> I have to get off some super effective shots on the uh, Shed Ninja. But this is the Pokemon with the Focus Sash. 1,000% Rock with the Focus Sash. Um, we do have the Tornados in the back end. So I think we should be thriving here. I think we're good. God dang, Shed Ninja coming in here. We do a solid little... We do work. He leads his strongest two Pokemon with Zacian and Shadow Radic Alex. My boys just say, bop, bop, get them on out of here. Let me send them home. That's pretty solid. But he Dynamax the Kangaskhan because, you know, he's not going to Dynamax the Shed Ninja. And we're going to try to get in first. I think he's just going to go for, like, a max strike. You know, get some stab damage off here. But Water Spout is going to fly. This thing is going to be wonder guarded. But it should be able to do a nice chunk of damage over the Kangaskhan. Nice chunk of damage. Like I said, nice, nice chunk of damage. Flare comes out here. Probably trigger Focus Ash. But at least you get off that Focus Ash. Yep, there goes Focus Ash. There's a super effective shot. We're liking that. Focus Ash is now out and about. I think we should be thriving here. As long as Kangaskhan cannot KO us. So I don't think he can. I really don't think he can. He could have the Silk Scarf too. Quake's gonna fall. Ooh, a little Quake for special defense boost. That actually might KO us. But let's see. No. We soak. But I think it was super effective. I don't know why. We soaked that all day. But I guess he just won that special defense boost. It's doing nothing. It did like no damage to me. That defense boost was good. He goes for a Phantom Force, and that kind of sucks. Now I can't KO it next turn. Now I cannot KO it next turn, but my boy Genesec is going to come back to normal. And his design, just look at his design, it's amazing. And I can legit just Water Spout here. And I guess I'll just, I mean, Protect won't do anything, and I feel like we kind of need him. I'm just going to hard swap into this thing. Actually, we don't need him. We have Crunch and everything for the Shen Ninja with this thing. But I'm going to swap into Thunder just to keep my Genesec alive. And just play it smart, because we know that my Kyogre takes out this Kang Song, even if fire even in the fire takes this thing out and finishes it off beautiful i say in the fire in the drought in the sun in the heat i should have said <laughs> but down goes one of the coolest normal typings in pokemon kangaskhan this thing is just gonna phantom force right over here and yeah i think i always swapped that genesec that probably would have taken them out so tail one's gone we have speed anyway i mean i could just hard swap kyogre but it's gg so i'm just gonna I'm gonna go for the water spout i guess and just drop a little crunch and say ggs Punch comes out here, he's probably like, dang it, dude, he has another super effective move. Yep, we drop him out here. One HP Shen Ninja, he's gone. But there it is, guys. Three no for today's video. We grab ourselves a perfect record and showcase Genesec phenomenally. Genesec prevails in today's video, and we grab ourselves a perfect record. And I'm not going to lie, Genesec might be one of the more fun Series 13 Pokemon I have used on the rank line. Definitely a lot of fun to use. Absolutely dominated with him, and he was great in Dynamax and in non-Dynamax form. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread sponsors every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.